I start getting blackmails like, oh, people are seeing you around me, and next thing they're saying, you're a gold digger, you're going to leave me, oh, this person has published this, they called you a gold digger. Uh, to shut out their insinuations, I think it is best you give me sons. Mm. You know, I don't have sons. I have five daughters, but I don't have sons. You can look at the house, there's nobody, nobody visits me. I want kids. Right. So we right. went for IVF. Right. He was specific, he wanted, he wanted sons, that he had right. five daughters, Right. And he's never had a son. So the IVF was to ensure that he had sons. Yes, we had sex selection done. Right. And then I had to go receive back the embryos into me. They were implanted and I waited. Even at the cost of that embryo implanting in me, I had the most violent experience, beatings and all of it. Why? Right. So he beat you yeah. while you were trying to get pregnant? Even when you. I was pregnant with my first child. Hmm. When it was confirmed that I was pregnant, pregnant right. it was even confirmed that it was a boy. Right, and he knew. He knew. And he would punch me in my stomach, call the baby, is that because, is it because of the cockroach you're carrying in you? Is that why you're doing this? He would punch me, punch me, and he would tell me that he'll get rid of it. He'll get the cockroach out of my stomach. This thing was not a situation people don't know. Lots of people knew about it. Mm. Big names. Because whenever he beats me up, and I threaten to leave back my things, go to the door. There's drama, bodyguards bundle me, everything. He ends up, because I am so adamant on leaving, he will call someone, maybe someone of high esteem, mm. to talk to me. The Dasukis have been involved, but Colonel Sambo Dasuki himself, his wife, has been involved. Now they can at some point has called me to plead with me. Now they called you to plead with you yes. to stay with FFK. October 2019, I left. He, um, he insulted me at, openly at a dinner we had in a um, slick, slick bay Chinese restaurant here in Abuja. Nadikanu's lawyer, Ijofo, was present in that meeting. Some journalists were there, and um, some of my friends were there. They can bear witness to this. He openly insulted me because I was taking pictures with my friends that came, and he wanted me to come and sit by his side. Not as if we're having a conversation, but you told me you were taking me out for dinner, just the two of us. Mm. And then we, I get to the dinner place, lots of people were there. Mm. I got a call from late T.B. Joshua. Yeah, pleading with me to at least come over to Lagos, that he wants to settle the issue. So he pleaded, he told me he's a man of God. He does not like the issues he's hearing and that he would like peace to reign. I explained, I went on a rant, I was telling him everything, how he started, how he got to this point, how I am done. And he said, it's okay, that he wants to sit and have a conversation with me. Mm -hmm. And that if after the conversation, I still feel strongly about not um, staying with him, then he will know that he has tried, but that he must do his brother a favor by talking to me as he had asked him to.